hello i'm jay in this video i'm going to show you how to use the channel rack what is the channel rack and anyway, the channel rack is a window that allows you to add samples and instruments i'm going to start with explaining the different types of knobs on the channel rack so we have the menu drop down here so you can see all the functions of the channel rack on, on how to clone delete move group selected uh, items color mute and assigning tracks to the mixer we have a window here for the grouped items which i will explain this basically is a stretch window that allows you to increase the size of the channel rack and decrease the size of the channel rack you can also do that from the corners of the of the channel rack we have the play button so this is for the the channel rack the pattern we have the swing which allows you to shift the sounds of the samples on the channel rack and we have a graph editor that allows you to manipulate the sound on the channel rack instead of the piano roll but you can actually do this inside the piano roll so we have the note pitch the velocity the release velocity the fine pitch the panning the mod x the mod y and the shift the pattern length this allows you to change the bars I usually set it to two bars two bars when you click this button it views the piano row then we have this button here where you can add instruments or plugins like that then we have we have the target mixer track this allows you to send tracks to the mixer we have the uh, the volume knob allows you to adjust the volume we have the panning knob which allows you to manipulate the sounds left or right and we have the mute button I'm not forgetting we have the loop button which simply allows you to loop the intended beat how do you add instruments or samples to the to the channel rack i already showed you how to add the the effort the, the instruments or the plugins you have to press this button then you add whatever you're adding whatever plugins you want to add then for the samples you can just drag and drop from the browser so we have a hi-hat here kick and the snare so that's how you add samples to the channel rack so let me quickly um, come up with a pattern So how to create groups you can create groups by left clicking and highlighting the samples that you want to be grouped the instruments that you want to be grouped so for instance you can hold shift and left click come to the drop down menu and group selected I add my drums So you can come here, drop down menu. If you only want the drums, or if you want all the instruments, or you can add a group, this is a melody. A 
and you can add whatever instrument that you want to add to the melody group So you can access the channel rock by pressing F6. How to change the color codes. So you can either right click. You can rename a sample. You can change the color of a sample. You can do that manually or you can select all the instruments come to the drop down menu and color selected by gradient or random so you can select the colors that you want right, I think that's good. and your instruments will be colored in a gradient manner or you can do it randomly if you want your instruments to be randomly colored but i would advise you to color them in the order of the same color like for the drums color selected And color every sample with the same color which makes work easy how do you send samples to the mixer you can easily do that by by clicking and assigning the track to the mixer like that I'm going to reset this or you can manually right click and drag up or down whichever uh, makes a track you want to add it to you can also color it manually if you want to or you can select all come down to the drop menu and assign it to assign the, the tracks to three inserts now that we know how to add uh, samples and instruments how do we add patterns so you can add a different pattern just by clicking that and you add a different pattern mm -hmm. So you can name this melody. So you can rename that drums. So now on, on your drum section you can only add the drums and on the melody section you can add your melody so you can cut copy or paste you can switch between patterns you can add plugins 
from if you left click you can add or insert plugins or you can replace plugins or you can delete the plugins so if you want to order your channels you can simply highlight the ones that you want by clicking shift and left click press out and the up or down button and you can easily move the channel the channels according to what you prefer you can also zip files zip patterns that you are not using you can do that by either con using the menu or out z and to to zip and out you to unzip now how do you add patterns to the playlist so you can add patterns to the playlist by going to the playlist obviously <coughs> and selecting which patterns you want from the top menu here the toolbar menu so if i want the drums i can add the drums to the playlist and the the melody to the playlist so on the channel rack if you right click we're going to go to the the settings of the sample we have a different variations of settings here this is the volume the pan the mute the normalize you can tweak with the settings to give you the desired sounds we have all these modulations and you can access or change the pitch of the sample from your piano you can access the the piano row just on your channel rack by going to the graph editor change the velocity right in your channel rack you can adjust the panning directly from the channel rack And you can shift So you can do that using the graph editor. And you can loop the samples using this. Once you create the loop, once you click on the loop, um, you'll be able to see all this. You can swing, Let's change the variation. 
the sounds. Or you can either go here, set swing, 75%. that is it for this video i hope you like it i hope you learned something about the channel rock there's a lot more to learn about the channel rock this was a basic video if you like the video hit the like button hit the thumbs button to be notified when i upload a video and i'll see you in the next one